So Thea, I was watching a French movie last night and I noticed a lot of kissing. So I was just wondering why do you greet strangers with kissing? Um, actually in France it's really like uh, natural and it's a cultural thing to kiss uh, people on the cheeks. Uh, everybody is kissing everybody on the mm -hmm. cheeks, especially women, because um, men are more like uh, and shaking each other or things like this. And um, it's it's a mark of respect and friendship mm -hmm. between each other, and it's also like it permits to people to create links. And um, because uh, you permit someone, uh, a stranger, to kiss you on the face and on the cheeks, uh, which is like kind of private. <laughs> But do you make distinction between people? Yes, of course we make distinction between people. Um, like for example, for the family, usually it's hugs or hugs and kisses. But at work it's another atmosphere, like you never kiss your boss, uh, yeah. even if it's a woman. Mm -hmm. um, after it, like for, uh, I told, as I told you, for men we never kiss each other. It's like more hand check or just check if you are really yeah. friend or something like this. And after for the girl, it will be weird to uncheck a girl, even if you mm -hmm. don't know her. Um, and uh, so we make distinction between people, but we also make distinction between the region, everything. Uh, like for example, there is some region in France where you do like uh, two kisses, mm -hmm. but there is region where you do like eight or <laughs> six kisses. And even region where you do just one, and mm -hmm. you have to know uh, from which cheek to start and everything. Yeah, it's wow. really like something. Uh, and actually you have a website on internet where you can vote for uh, how many kisses you, you do in your region of France. Oh, cool. <laughs> so where does this habit come from? Actually, it's not a recent habit in France. Um, it comes from the Roman Empire. Like they had three words to describe the different kiss. And uh, one of them was uh, basium, I think, and um, it's the word we keep for the French kiss uh, those days. And yeah, that's where it come from. Uh, so what about the French kiss? It, is it also linked to the greetings kissing habits? So uh, first, the French kiss, the term French kiss is not French at all. Like, I don't think we... Have, we even have a word for this in France, like we call it the French kiss, like English people. Um, it comes from the World War I, when the American soldiers come uh, in France, like they saw uh, people kissing with the tongue and they found it really weird, but they also uh, find out that women enjoyed it. So <laughs> they bring it back to America and uh, they call it the French kiss. Uh, nowadays, in Hollywood, they use the, this kind of kiss, but uh, in the real life it's not so widespread. So, how is it to live in Croatia when you come from France where kissing is so widespread? Um, so, at first it was really awkward, because for me it's even weirder to hug like, people you don't know uh, than kiss them. But, um, so... In the beginning, I didn't know how to to greet people, like if I hug them, kiss them, uh, and check or something like this. But uh, it's okay. After six months, uh, I get used to not kiss people when I meet them. <laughs> okay, so thank you. <laughs> it was really interesting to hear all about French kissing. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Should so, we kiss now? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs>